What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Modern Horizons draft. Uh, I've been enjoying this format, so we can do it again. And I just saw this meme, so I figured I'd I'd start the recording and show it off. It's pretty funny. <laughs> oh God, it's very good. Hard Charles. <laughs> oh Lord, that's good stuff, man. That's a, that's a quality Professor X meme. How's my Monday? Pretty good. Pretty good. I went and dropped off about 40 comics at CGC this morning. I drove about an hour, and then I drove an hour back. <coughs> Brought back spoiler, bro? I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're saying, Matthew. I think you're drunk. And... Yeah, so brought back, as far as spoilers go, brought back is a white, white card that says you may return up to two permanents that went to the graveyard this turn. And uh, cards like that I don't necessarily care about. Like, they're too hard for me to parse on their face value. I'm like, okay, cool. This is probably going to do something cool. I'll let people who put more effort than me uh, figure it out, right? I'm just like, okay, cool. You, you, you guys figure it out. Was Professor X in any of the comics I dropped off? I don't think so. I don't actually have a ton of X-Men comics that I that I collect or get graded or anything like that. There was a lot of Immortal Hulk, which is a new series that has been very, very popular. Uh, it, Hiv Shinobi, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, Winds of Abandon is nuts. Um... Yeah, so anyway, about about uh, about brought back. Like, it's a card I look at, and I'm like, well, I can't think of anything to do in, like, regular mid-range decks, right? I got Winds of Venom twice as a GP and won both Jesus. That's a real case thing. That's a total case thing. I think it's still good enough to pick, though, right? Like, every time it was played against me, it was very good. They got a bunch of lands, but who cares? I think it's still very good. Oh, and they're just going to pass us this Battle Screech, so... Yeah. Thanks. Nothing in this pack is even remotely close. If this answered prayers comes back, I'll be grateful for it. It's a six mana plague. Well, you don't draw cards, right? Does plague win draw you cards? What am I thinking of? Decree of... Is plague... Is it... It's not... I'm thinking of decree of justice. Decree of pain. There you go. There you go. Uh, when you were a kid, did any old people ever tell you to get off their lawn? Not really. I didn't make it a point to really hang out on people's lawns when I was a little kid. That's weird. Um, so we have the old, the old screechy. Thank you. To Exodus. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's the pick here, guys? I like Winter's Rest, but I don't like the... Uh, actually, I've had some luck with blue white so maybe it's just winter's rest i think it's one of the stronger cards in this pack carrion feeder hmm. spider carrion feeder i was erring toward the snow card but i am reluctant to take snow cards when i'm not um green so yeah i don't know maybe we'll just take carrion feeder i could see that being pretty strong I see a lawn and I go, man, I need to hang out on that. Man, that lawn looks like the place to be. <sighs> oh, Unsettled Mariner, eh? That actually seems pretty decent here. Now I'm wishing I took the winner's, the winner's retort. That's not what it's called. I'll just take Rock's Veteran, too. Yeah, Rock's Veteran's a beating. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you. Tribute Magia. 
Tired Eyes, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, McWelcome. Welcomes, McWelcomes. Um, this pack's pretty rough. This pack is hot, hot trash. Hottest of trash. Might just be cave. Ugh, awkward. Could be ephemerate. Yeah, we'll take the ephemerate. Uh, decoy is fine. Imposter is fine. We'll just take the decoy, I guess. Cabal Therapist, eh? Sack a creature, choose a non-land card. That player removes their hand, discard the yeah. Mom? What are you saying right now? Night of Old is eh. Oh, Mother Bear? Are you saying Mother Bear? Mother Bear, Mother Bear. What are they feeding you? I think we're just taking the Mother Bear here. I don't I mean I don't know what else we would take. Like I don't care about night. Eh, it might be night. Whatever, I'll take night. I don't think night is great suspended. I think if you just play it on five though, it could be fine with battle screeches and stuff. Tired eyes, thanks so much for saying somebody. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Interesting. Rank officer is decent. Sadistic obsession. There's no like combos with that, right? I don't hate rank obsession or uh, rank officer rather. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Frank officer. See, that's funny. That made me laugh. All right, Case, I'm going to go with you, and I'm going to take the ninja. Uh, let me take Rank Officer here. I don't think Headless Spectre is where I want to be. I don't care about Face of Divinity. We're looking heavy on the four drops right now, though. Is this guy alright? I don't even know if this guy's any good. I guess if the Statistic Glee comes back, we can actually put Statistic Glee on this guy and just go to town. I wonder if that's any good. Oh, this guy was decent. Wow, the Unsettled Mariner comes back. That's interesting. I'll take Baron more, but... <laughs> for the first horizon or is it the last I have but one question for you why are you not forcing the beauty that is red how dare you how dare you come into my chat and talk about that that shit color how dare you yeah scout's playable if we get two but you love mountains oh no sir Good Fortune Unicorn is so good. It's so good. Oh man, maybe we should try Mill next time. I really want the Mill deck to work. This pack's not bad. It's just not great. Time to pony up. Boy, this card, yeah, this card's very good. I wonder if there's a situation where we could just get this and just, just mill them out. I mean, the problem is, like, we'd have to have, like, 30 power, right? We're have to sack 30 powers of creature for this to be good. 30 power of creature. 30, 30 power worth of creatures. I think it is the Good Fortune Unicorn. And we just find a way to splash it. I don't know if that's going to happen. Oh, Smiting Helix is nice. How many four drops are we going to have? Like, 30? 34 drops? I like a Venomous Changeling here. Uh, Tusker is not really a way to splash because if you're if you have Tusker, you already have green, so your splash is already accounted for.
It's like saying if you get a forest, you can splash your green card, you know? Well, that's... Yeah, was, the green is the splash. There you go. There you go. You figured it out. I think it is Helix. I like Changeling, but even even if you're not able to cast the second half of this, it's still very good. Another rocks? God, how many freaking four drops do we want here? Could be second scout, but I don't really like that. I think rocks is just a significantly better card. And now this is the card I want. It's literally just all four drops. It's unreal. This card's also very good, but I don't even think Vesper Lark's that great. I don't think it actually hits anything in our deck other than like decoy or carrion feeder. So I guess we're just taking the cohorts. Maybe we're not black though. I don't know. Future Goblin seems fine here. Yeah, let's take a... I actually don't mind Glutton the Slug. I think this card's actually relatively good. Little buddy, come to us. <laughs> uh, for each color among legendary permanents you control. Yeah, that card still doesn't excite me. Uh, miscellaneous bills. Uh, usually, I include power and water and stuff in my rent in the monthly rent donation goal. So, miscellaneous bills is just other stuff I'd like to get taken care of. But it's not me asking you guys to take care of it. It's just saying like, if you guys do donate, this is where it's going. It's just transparency. Oh, bingo, bango, bongo, I don't want to leave the Congo. No, 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 no. Bingo, bango, bongo, I don't want to leave the Congo. I want to the Congo. And what do you see? Wow, that's a late Crypt Rats. Which I will gladly take. Reprobation's not bad. <laughs> have you been breaking even or better on these Horizon drafts? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. I, I pretty, feel like I've been going 2-1 or 3-0 pretty consistently. Yeah, all the miscell miscellaneous bills is just uh, me finding Mike's dad. But no matter how you zoop doot, I'll zoop a dee doo, ba doo doot, ba doo doot, and doo. I'll stay right here. Any hope for a freshly brewed episode? No, none whatsoever, considering we do not do freshly brewed anymore. My miscellaneous bills are like Bill Murray, Bill Clinton, Bill Brasky, etc. Uh, I guess we'll take Scout, because we have another Scout. Now we got Dubs Scouts. Dos Scoutos. Hey, Dos Scoutos. To Bill Brasky. Where's it go in your hand, right? Okay. Okay. Bill Cosby no longer gets to be in the miscellaneous bill uh, selection anymore. No bueno. Bill Cosby is in with the bad bills, yeah. Those are the bills you don't want to pay at all.
I'm taking the Gilded Light because we're not going to play Lightning Skelemental. Wow, that's a that's a decent last pick. And you better turn your ticket in and get your money back at the door. Oh, Ranger Captain of Eos. As a 3 through for 3, this guy's just fine. And you get to search for a carrion feeder. That's not too shabby, and I'm pretty sure it's the best card in this pack. Soul Herder. Oh man, you're so good. So I want to splash a blue card, a green card, and a red card in this deck. That's where I want to be. Lancer Sliver, actually pretty decent. Return from Extinction, also pretty decent. Iker Fountain, actually, is not bad for all of our splashing needs. Man, Soul Herder seems good. Um, what can we blink, though? Nothing, really. First Sphere Gargantua is probably the only thing. We, I guess a regular cohort as well. Yeah, I think we're just going to stick with Lancer Sliver or Return from Extinction. Uh, the problem with Blinking Knight is that you blink it at the end of the turn, at the beginning of your end step, so Blinking Knight is really not uh, where you want to be. And then at the end of your turn, you're like, give me plus one, plus one. And you're like, that doesn't do anything. I'm actually going to take the fountain. We have 18 creatures. I'd rather just have the fountain and make sure we can cast our things. Oh, uh, this is... Uh, oh, wait. It's two, it's two colors that we are not. We're just going to take the subtle beyond reality. Man, both of these are very, very good. Subtle, pretty good. Yeah, the slivers impressed me as well, actually. Ooh, silent clearing. This is back-to-back -back mana wars as well. I think you better turn your ticket in and get your money back at the door. I'm seeing Facebook friends, Facebook posts from a friend who is stuck in Omaha. And uh, now I have Omaha by the Counting Crows stuck in my head. And that's a good song. Um. I don't really we can't take the mana war right like it, that's ridiculous it's got to be silent clearing right oh generous gift oh yes oh you might say that was a generous gift oh oh wow so you getting sling gang lieutenant Jeez. all right well now i'm wishing i took the soul herder oh yeah that card's good Oh, yes. Oh, my God. How many first slivers? We always see a first sliver. It's unbelievable. I'm going to take it because there's nothing else I'd play, and I just want to have it. I want to be able to look at it every round. We have a lot of playables. Every stream I watch you find a first sliver. Yeah, it's true. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, reprobation? All right, I'll just take a late reprobation. Probably not going to play that one, but... We got to start cutting... Eh, scavenger's fine. We got to start cutting some of these. Nature's chant is nice.
cave's actually not terrible. Yeah, let's take the cave. That can actually, it's an easy way to splash both of the, uh, the Smiting Helix and the Good Fortune Unicorn if we want to play it. Oh, another trustworthy scout. Well, I'll take Dismantling Bolt. Sure. I only need five cuts here. That's pretty good. I think I can cut both these trustworthy these trustworthy scouts. The deck has an ephemerate. It's right here. Uh, I can probably cut a five drop. I probably lean towards Knight of Old Banalia. I think we can cut Rank Officer too. Maybe eh, we can cut Fountain. Eh, I like Fountain though because it does let us cast the uh, Smiting Helix, and we also have a pretty a lot of four drops. Headless Specter. Headless Specter is pretty unimpressive for me. Thank you. Man of War Elves, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. We can definitely cut a four drop, right? I don't think we can cut any of these. I think Rank Officer is the weakest one, but maybe Ninja of the New Moon is worse. But that guy, I'm just going to try that guy because that guy deals a lot of damage. I do kind of want the Ephemerate because it's good with, uh, I mean, it's decent with this. It lets us draw a card, draw two cards. Let's go to this guy. Let's go to this guy. Actually, that's the only, the only thing it's really good with. Where do you donate money for the missile? Uh, you can go down to pay the, in the. There's a donate link. In the in my Twitch profile. Somewhere in Middle America, when I right to the heart of man. Eight, nine, technically ten, six, seven, eight, nine. That seems fine. Do I like the fountain? It's a second way to cast. Do you want the bird? Maybe we take the bird out. I guess they putting New Fortune Unicorn instead of instead of the Scavenger just because we have Cave and, and we can also even play like one Forest. I actually kind of like that. Is that greedy? Actually, we'll take out the Knight. I don't know. I'm not not a huge Knight fan. I think this guy's just very very good. So, is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Yeah, we can easily cut one of these for one forest. Also, tomorrow's my birthday, so we're going to have a sweet birthday stream tomorrow. And by sweet, I mean we're just going to be streaming on my birthday, so. Yes, let us play fast. Excellent. I'll keep this hand. This seems fine. It's a little... We got we got something on the front and something on the back. I'll do a yo. I'll give you a, I'll give you a howdy yo. A hearty yo. Well, I don't want to attack here, right? It seems bad. But then they just get to ninja out. They're just going to play the uncommon ninja that we all hate. You guys know the one. 
You guys know the one. Well, now they're not going to play it because no Swampums. Okay. Oh my god, just stop it. Oh man. Alright, well, as we expected, the four drops have, uh, have taken over here. Wow, that's aggressive. That's aggressive. Oh, actually, we should have played this if we were going to play Siege Gang Sling Gang Lieutenant. I was thinking of playing Battle Screech, but this might be better. Nah, we'll Battle Screech. Brother, Sh Brother Sean, what's going on, buddy? Oh, no attacks. Okay, okay. Hmm. Let's play old Slingy Boy. Slingums, McBingums. And then we got the settle to blink this guy. Oh, that's nice. Wipeout stuck in in I did I did I sing? I didn't I don't even remember singing wipeout. Seems good. No blocks. For obvious reasons. Such sling gang. All right. Uh, F2K is the team. F2K Comnet, I think, is the uh, like the partner program, like their their community. Oh, now they got a ninja. So, one, two, three, four, smiting helix on this guy. I think that's fine, right? <clears throat> uh, Bother Sean, I think that's okay. I think that's correct, yeah. Oh, that's sad. You gonna bounce my carrion feeder? Well, that's just rude.
feel like we're in good shape here. They're at a virtual three, and we are at a virtual 12. Uh, am I going to Vegas? I do not know. I have no current plans to go to Vegas. Although it is close. Good fortune, unicorn. What a good fortune. Oh, boy. Is that just worth it? I mean, if they have prohibit, it's pretty bad. Uh, this is draft. You'll rarely catch me doing sealed. Oh, yeah, so they're virtual, too. That's a good point. Wait, they're just taking this? Thank you! It's a bold strategy. Risa, thank you so much for the Risa, buddy. Really appreciate it. 19 total months. Okay, well, that was an interesting decision. Oh, I like this because maybe the decoy gets through. <laughs> then we just get to get to six them. All right, I get it lands. That's enough. That's also pretty good. Well, that's kind of nice. Do you have any spoilers for the Jun min range deck tech? Mm, spoilers, uh, how so? How do you mean? too many lands but that's okay
and pass. I got a wicked hankering for some fried chicken. <laughs> Go get some fried chicken, man. Fascinating. Huh. Wait, they can't even activate it this turn? That's interesting. Hmm. So I actually don't think you block here, which is kind of funny. Did it cycle? Oh, it just, it, there's another land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. One, two, three, four spells, five spells. I mean, just because our spells happening very, very good. Um, I'm just getting rid of this, like. I think that's a solid two for one. One for one, I guess. They got an elephant out of it, but. <sighs> another, another pondering mage? Unbelievable. All right, no land this time. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine lands. No land. Putrid Goblin. I was walking past this the other day. It looks like a company you might be interested in. <laughs> you know, maybe. Man, I really wish I had a sacrifice outlet here. Oh, for, uh, for those watching on YouTube... This is the image that was just sent. No land. No, it's no land, obviously, but you know, no land. Uh, I'll take three. You can bounce this guy back to your hand. Oh, I should have just blocked. That was so bad. Now they get a, another pondering mage and a 1 1. I got distracted by the no land, guys. Yeah, you get rid of one of those birds. Good deal. Alright, so we can sack this, put it on a bird. We can also just play this guy, and then we can sack this, put counters on this guy, sack it again, and sack it again. Uh, I 
I think we actually just want the carrion feeder out here. Would you rather have a 1-1 one, one bird token or a 1-1 one, one bird token? Probably a bird token. So we know they have one Pondering Mage and then one random card. How many matches did you face that guy? I think it was like three times, dude. It was pretty unrealistic. They just kept jumping in the queue with us and I was like, oh, please stop. Like even if your deck only has like a 4% win percentage on turn one, on turn like zero essentially, that's still higher than I'm comfortable with, you know? Excuse me. Was it goalie? It was not. It was not goalie, actually. Yeah, I'll take four here. Are you coming with this guy? No. Fascinating. And if you don't want to turn zero, like your odds of winning on like turn two or turn one are just that much higher, you know, like because you're just getting more pieces. But I mean, also the deck is very weak. It's very susceptible to, you know, counter spells or having your hand picked apart. But like, that's not the point, you know. Book, it's a fun. <sighs> yeah, do that. Interesting. Thank you. Josh with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. 20 months. Good times. Let the good times roll. Let them it's like, I'll defile. Okay, well. That is your right. I'm like surprisingly, I'm really, really tired today. I drove for two hours this morning all the way down to CGC and back. So it's like, I don't know, just two hours driving in the heat. It's, it's surprisingly tiring. It's more tiring than you'd expect. I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting in the car, but you know, it's like 90 degrees outside. It's hot. I get the feeling they're going to play like the sadistic card and then just neg one, neg one our rocks better. And... Which means I'm actually just going to block here and then sacrifice this guy. I see. I forgot about that. Now they get to return their pondering mage. Oh, that's so much bad. Give me just a creature I can cast here. Uh, I have AC, but it doesn't work very well. For some reason, after I got my compressor replaced last year, um, it's still, like, not super cold. It's cool, but it's not, like, ice cold. And, like... All right. Well, I'll just do another one of these guys. 
they have three blockers and we have one two three four five six attackers so if they block here here and here they take six and then we have a blocker for this guy and we take four yeah this is this is fine oh they actually have fewer blockers don't they because oh so we just win Okay, <laughs> that'll do, Neg9. Good, I wanna say good games to you. Good gamums. Do, 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 good gamums. Lower the volume of these good games. You know what? I'll keep this hand. It's all right. How's this crying going for you? All right, we did it. Oh, look at that guy. Whew. I love when they attack with their 1-1 one -one and they don't actually sneak something else in. That makes me feel good. Time to get gleaning. Boom, 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 boom. Here comes Miss Blade Shinobi. Moon Blade Shinobi. Mist Moon Shinobi. Yep. Never fails. <laughs> Mathiori, I think it's fine. <laughs> Just like. I mean, it's like. It's basically you're putting Lotus Veil into plays. That was called Lotus Field whatever it is and then you're discarding a card instead right i mean it's still fine all right well did not hit a land like you do sorry i haven't been able to catch a stream my boss caught me dude <laughs> You don't really have to apologize for that. <laughs> oh, man. Just really bounce this guy and make another one. Yeah, it is. I have... Look how many Moonblade Shinobis I have in my little deck. Oh, look, I'm going to play my one by one one, too. Okay. You got it, buddy. You got it. Well, I like lands, personally. <sighs> the old all lands or no lands. A classic.
Yeah, that card's hard to deal with. Yep, let's concede the game because we don't get to play Magic the Gathering against our opponent. Always fun. Always a good time, never a bad time. <sighs> hey, I'll keep this. Well, it's not just my yawn. I think that's all yawns. <sighs> oh, look at that. Draw a forest. What a time to be alive. Unbelievably rude. Hey man, it was just, it was a really on. It's not like I faked it. I should have taken a nap before the stream. I was tempted to. <sighs> but here we are. Here we are. Okay. Boy, boy. You can count it for your steps. Wow, is that how that works? As Doctor Doom fans, would you like to see Doom? Oh my God, yes! It's the one thing I've been waiting for. It, the, it's the only thing I want out of Marvel. It's the literal only thing I want from the MCU. And I would assume that the MCU can do it correctly, whereas Fox could not like if you're literally just true to the character you don't make some bullshit story where like doom is kind of pathetic and like uh, he's just got superpowers and like he's made of metal and like uh, it's just so we just stop doing weird bullshit with victor von doom and just make him dr doom like just make him as absolutely cool as he is who plays doom for you that's a good question I don't know. That's a. I haven't thought about it much. That's a good question, though. <laughs> Arnold never, fucking never. If you guys start giving serious suggestions, then we're in good. Then we can have a good conversation here. But I actually, I dismissed Keanu as like, oh, that's funny because it's the year of Keanu. But then, like, once I thought about it, I was like, I could see him playing like a real dark, menacing character. Huh? I don't hate it. Don't hate it. Yeah, so the John Krasinski thing, I've heard I've heard people wanting John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards. I haven't seen any talk of John Krasinski as as Doctor Doom, and I don't think they're considering it. I think that's just a suggestion people have thrown around. I don't think there's any official consideration from Marvel about that. But I also don't hate I think Ian McShane is a little. Uh, too, he's, I think he's too old. 
Doom should be a, a character in his mid thirties, probably. I could Fastbender could be good. I worry that Fastbender just got done playing Magneto, so I'd worry about him playing like another titular Marvel villain. John Bernthal does not strike me as a Doom type. Doom has to be refined. Doom is Doom is not a gruff character. He's not a John Bernthal character. He's not like a he's not like a gritty character. He's a he's a refined like megalomaniac. He's a brilliant, brilliant, refined, arrogant megalomaniac. Hmm. Now Tom Hardy. <laughs> And hasn't been in a comic book movie yet. Um, yeah, let's let's say that. Let's let's go with that. That's that's my position as well. The thing is, like, Spider Man is Tom Holland. Loki was Tom Hiddleston. You know, um, Chris Pratt who was kind of unknown, like he really wasn't a big actor outside of Parks and Rec, uh, played, you know, Star-Lord. Like, Marvel isn't well-known for... Chris Hemsworth played Thor. Like, Marvel isn't well-known for for picking these A-list actors and making them making them characters. Marvel has had a reputation of, uh, of just picking characters that... Eh, just making sure. Um, might as well play this guy, right? has a reputation of picking characters that uh, are, are pretty pretty just under the radar as far as actors go. I don't think Oscar Isaac is I don't I don't see Oscar Isaac as doomed. Like he doesn't have the look, he doesn't have I, I don't think he's Oh wow, that was a that's 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 what father likes. Come and knock on our door. <laughs> Edra Elbus? You mean Idris Elba? <laughs> I mean, you know. Close. It's very close. And maybe and maybe Edra Elbus is like a is an anagram for Idris Elba. But you know. Yeah, I mean, like, Josh, I'm not saying they don't cast any, like, well-known actors. I'm not saying they fervently avoid it. I'm saying they're well-known for casting lesser-known actors. Like, it's that's just fact. They could have... That doesn't mean they can't have... Uh, We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Physics is my thing. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you're a science guy. That's true. I forgot about that. That's funny. I was like, who's Edra Elbis? Who is that? Is that like Elvis Presley? I don't think it disqualifies anyone I have for sure. I would love to see John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. That sounds like a great role. And John Krasinski is... Chef's kiss, my dudes. Dexter's brother from season one? I actually don't know who that is. How about Dokes from season one? And then Dr. Doom takes off his mask and he's like, surprise, motherfuckers. That would be funny. Oh, uh, I watched 
some of the, I've, I watched like the first two or three episodes of Jack Ryan. And I don't know. It didn't grip me. Like I didn't, it didn't, it didn't pull me in. But I don't think that was a John Krasinski issue. I think that was just like, I had a hard time believing that like this accountant is all of a sudden like this field agent all of a sudden. I was just like, eh, this is a bit of a stretch. I don't know. Like Jack Bauer. I'm like, oh, I can get behind this. That makes total sense. This dude's, this dude, that's this, this dude, this dude is like a, an inhuman machine, you know? But like John Krasinski, I'm like, you're just like a, you're just like a desk dude. And now all of a sudden you're a, like a, an operative, like a, in the field operative. And I was just like, mm. I don't know. Like, I didn't hate it. I just, it, it wasn't like, it wasn't just, it makes a ton more sense in the books. Okay, so that makes, that's good then. That makes sense. But yeah, I was just like, I don't get it. Like, where's the bridge here? Like, where's the, where's the bridge that's connecting you from like, why should I believe that like, all of a sudden you're like, like you just went from like, like nerdy desk guy to like Jason Bourne. And I was just like, wait, what just happened here? I don't understand. But again, not it's not that wasn't a John Krasinski issue. That was just like I didn't. It was just a storyline issue where I was just like, mm, I'm not following you as much as I should be. He was never a full on field agent in the books. Okay, so that makes sense then, because I was just like, when I'm watching the show, I'm like, wow, you really know your shit, man. And again, like I said, I only got like three or four episodes in. I didn't, I didn't like super commit to it. So maybe like, there's there's stuff I'm missing, you know, but. What are you giving one of your dudes float? Giving one of them dudes. No, I guess you're uh I guess you're pumping these gentlemen. He's never a badass in the books until he becomes POTUS? Jack Ryan becomes the president? Oh man. You're talking crazy right now. Oh my god, that's amazing. See, if I knew that was going to happen, I'd just watch the show then. I'd be like, oh, let's check this out. This is a nice little combo. Because then you can just cycle a land and deal six. More like jump the shark, Ryan, am I right? I don't uh, I, Yeah, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Nope. Oh, look, they did. They discarded a Landos. A Landos. I think Kid Harrington is too young, yes. I also don't think Jon Snow gives me the kind of background I'd want. Like, I can hear him as Jon... I can hear him as Jon Snow! And it just sounds... He just sounds too, like... He sounds too, like, insecure, you know? Is that the word I'm looking for? I'll prohibit this. Oh, you didn't prohibit it. The hip hop prohibit and the hip and you hop and you know right in the same thing. Dum 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 dum. Oh God, no biscuits. Oh, bless bit fewer biscuits. They didn't want to do anything. They're like, forget it. I'll change my mind. I was like, okay. Yes. I mean, we're definitely blocking one of these dudes. And then they're going to kill the... They, oh, they didn't attack. What? Fascinating. That's fascinating. Oh, hard cast a Moonblade Shinobi. That's fascinating. I think it's just Siege Gang Mc, 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 Lieutenant or son.
I think Russell Crowe's getting a little too old. I like that this has basically become a uh, who could who could play Doom. Um. Yeah, that guy's that guy's a scumbag. I'm gonna generous gift that guy for sure. Oh, Chris! I just I just googled it, and Chris Chris Waltz would make a fantastic. Oh man, I could I could see Chris Waltz in that role. Oh, that sounds legit, dude. Abris hey, Alba. <laughs> I can't even tell if that's a if that's a meme or if that's just literally a uh, or if that's literally how you spelled it. Because oh god, that's hilarious. Hold on, let me look at let me show you guys this picture of Chris Waltz and Doctor Doom. This is this is the world I want to live in. I could see Chris Waltz playing Doctor Doom for sure. He's got the look. He's got that Eastern European look. He's got the voice. Oh man, that would be fantastic, dude. Make it so. All right, what are we doing here? We got four mana. Oh, Mads Mikkelsen. I could see Mads Mikkelsen too. Oh, Mads Mikkelsen would be so good. He's got the elegant part. He's He just looks serious. He looks composed. I mean, it's hard to explain the word I'm looking for. Elegant was perfect. Pernicious dude, I think elegant was the perfect word for Mads Mikkelsen, but like, I can't explain why, right? You just kind of look at him and you're like, that dude looks like he could... Like, I want the dude to look like he could play a, a well-polished officer in the military. That's... That's the kind of role I'm talking about here. And Mads Mikkelsen can pull that shit off. Plus he's got the he's got a great voice. Oh man. Mads Mikkelsen for Doom. I Michael Shannon, I'm actually a big Michael Shannon fan. I have liked everything I've seen Michael Shannon in. He's great. And Michael Shannon can play really scary characters as well. Like frightening characters. Thank you. Like where you're like, oh, this guy's really chilling. Not Papa Perky. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. We have three cards in hand, huh? We're going to generous gift this guy. That's because Michael Shannon can play any good character that's menacing and like threatening. Like if Michael Shannon just has to stand there and stare at you and scream at you, like he can pull it off. He's very good at that. Yeah, I think my front runners right now are Christoph Waltz, Mads Mikkelsen, and uh, and Michael Shannon. Those those three sound good. Like I could see that happening. Oh, not my little bird. I guess I have no way to sacrifice that. That's fine. Goodbye, little man. Oh, wow, this is aggressive.
All right, so click on this, choose you, sack this guy. How are they, how are they not dead here? All right. Go to four. Kill you on the crackback. I hope he doesn't see the odd board tricks. Oh, all right, that'll do. <laughs> Got him. Are we 2-0? That seems good. Our deck is pretty cool. Oh, you know who else I just thought could probably pull off Doom pretty decently? Joaquin Phoenix. Like, you guys are saying Russell Crowe. I'm saying Joaquin Phoenix. Michael Shannon uh, is probably most notable from his role on Boardwalk Empire. That's where I first saw Michael Shannon. And I was like, oh my god, this dude is insane. I think if you look at Joker Joaquin Phoenix, you'll be like, okay, cool. I can see that he's not elegant or... Uh, uh, you know, collected. But then if you look at... Uh, who does he play in? What's his name in friggin' Gladiator? Uh, I don't want Jared Leto to play anything anymore. That has to do with comic book movies. I feel like he's given up his... I don't know. I just didn't... Mm, nope. Give me a white land. Oh my god, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I like that we got Commodus, C-O-M-E-T-U-S, Commodus, C-O-M-M-O-D-U-S, and Commodus, C-O-M-O-D-U-S. This is nice. You get the full, you get to choose. You get to choose which spelling of, uh, of the name you want. Oh, also this Fountain Vicar is great with the Smiting Helix, guys. All right, well. <coughs> boop, 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 boop. Haji Galashi, have a good night, buddy. Really appreciate it. Meetings, then chicken. That's life. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> Give me a land. I actually want to land here so I can so I can scavenger. Probably just gonna eat a goblin here, right? Eating a goblin. It's probably better than eating crypt rats. So if we attack with this guy, they just double block with the the two two and the three two, or the or I mean, like either way, we're trading one for one, so I don't think it's really that great. Why not Charlie Theron as Doom? Yeah. All right. Fran Drescher. Welcome to Latveria. <laughs> I'd probably... I'd be done. 
Uh, and I'd be like, all right, Marvel has jumped the shark now. Oh my god, the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Uh, sure. One goblin for a rank officer. Uh, let's see, but pretty good. You got it. You got it. Are they just going to do it for one? That would be very strange. Oh my god, they are? What? In the earth? This is all very... I'm very confused. Thank you. Runicape, thank you so much for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate thank it. You. you are awesome, dude. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Hooey. If you know what I mean. Whatever that means. Thank you. So now we get to attack for eight. Put them to five. We have Smiting Helix in the graveyard. Thank you. <laughs> they contractually forced actors to retire to play new characters. And they're like, yeah, you have to Thank retire you. from Captain America in about ten years. So that you can play the Human Torch again. <laughs> also, there's Thank been some... You. There's been discussions online about uh, Chris Evans playing Superman in the DCU and... Fudge, Thank I am you. ready. Chris Chris Evans can play any wholesome hero that he wants to play at this juncture. Thank you. Just give the man give the man whatever he wants. Oh, they're dead. Thank you. I really want Keanu Reeves to play Mark Spector. I think Moon Knight. It's funny because I was sitting in bed and I was like, who would be a great Keanu Reeves character? And I was like, Mark Spector. Oh my God. Moon Knight would be fantastic. The next day, I see a post on uh, comic book resources and they talk about how Bill uh, Sankowitz, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, um, was like, was, was, was supportive of Keanu playing uh mark specter and i was like oh my god please that would be so sick mark specter please please have keanu reeves as moon knight it would be such gas i just want a moon knight i, I would i'd also be satisfied with a moon knight show Oh, Keanu Reeves is Batman. <laughs> I could see it. I mean, he did John. John Wick is just basically Batman without a uniform, right? I don't think Remy Malik has the voice to do Doom. No offense to Remy Malik. I love Remy Malik. He's amazing. But he's kind of he got he he has like a very nasally sound. I don't feel like he'd do Doom very well. Kerwood just asked me, he's like, you watching GDQ? I'm like, no, dude, I'm streaming. Come on, man. This is drafts done quick. I'm, I'm doing DDQ. That's drafts done quick, bruh. Not to be confused with PDQ, which is pretenders done quick. Was that what Mike was referencing when he said GD, GDQ?
Cause it's you and me and Pretender's done quick tonight. Get in there for what? What are you doing? You can kill this guy in response? Get him. Oh, now you're gonna do something? Oh, alright, that's fine. What about Tom Holland? If Tom Holland did Jace, it has to be like Jace Verden's prodigy. Hey guys. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That hey, hey guys, I'm Tom Holland. <laughs> I don't know why I did that voice. I don't think that's Tom Holland's voice. I guess we're just playing this guy and not hasting it up. That feels Batman. Forget it, I'm gonna eat this idiot. I am hasting you up, because next turn if they play a creature and they have two elephants, I'm very tempted to win the abandon. Yeah, the stream has definitely changed quite a bit. I try to update it pretty regularly and like keep it keep it more current, keep it more more clean, more professional. Since Mark Hamill's voice gets into everything, who do you think will play? I think they'll have a uh, a more screen act screeny actor play Doctor Doom and then they'll just have Mark Hamill do the voice of Doctor Doom. Eh, well. Probably not though. Oof, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, you're going to do something else. You don't like my bird coming in? A bird coming. Sure. That was rude, but whatever. Oh, I switched to talking about the Netflix MT. Oh. Oh, I see. Well. This feels like enough creatures to uh, to winds of abandon, but like we can do better, right? We're not in any, we're not under any kind of like threatening pressure where we have to like one, two, three, four. These are my regular cohorts. Ah, boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> I think we can give them like one or two more turns. That is fine. The next book series is just Mark Hamill playing every character. Yes. Yes. And no one had a problem with it. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. I mean, they could counter this. They could prohibit it. But I don't think prohibit's good enough for a blue splash. So. Oh, it was not. It was not. Got something else? Got another Thornado? Oh, you got a little blocker. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Still take seven. I totally forgot about that guy, and I don't know why. It's probably because I'm distracted, but... Thank you. Bird Brains, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I 
Oh, our opponent's in our chat, so that's probably why they didn't commit all their creatures to the board with when we have Winds of Abandon in hand. They're probably just ghosting us, which is super cool. Whatever it takes to win. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Masked sad boys. <laughs> oh, the old activate and uh, no attack. A classic. A classic. This is actually, wow, that's actually, I think they're just dead, right? Yeah, actually, Adam Driver was fantastic in Black Klansman as well. If you guys haven't seen the Spike Lee movie Black Klansman, it is fantastic. Oh, we just won the game. All right, cool. And uh, that'll do, 3-0. 3-0 is pretty solid. Our deck was pretty okay. I liked it a lot, and... Uh, Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out on manatraders.com. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with a link and promo code in the description. And uh, check me out at coolstuffinc.com with promo code Frank5. You get 5% off. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Goodbye.